typical for most of our journeys, especially international travel. Sawyer and I are sitting here, and uh, everyone else is getting on the plane. Apparently, I don't have a ticket anymore. I'm reluctantly getting on the plane now, right now without Sawyer, so hopefully he gets it worked out. So this is uh, some of the boarding tickets, all for one flight that I was supposed to get here on at 6.30. Simple two hour flight, took five planes to get me here. Just uh, not sure what happened, I should have brought the horse and buggy. Got here quicker, <laughs> but we made it. border checkpoint here and somewhere that was uh that was quite the endurance test that last two hours was excruciating This is Sawyer. Sawyer? 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 Yeah. Sawyer go with you? Yeah, he also goes by dips. Oh, whoa. Oh. Give it a nice I short changed that one. Yeah, this is probably the last opportunity to be warm. How's your belly? <laughs> better. Better? Ooh, my fork's a little short. I need a new game plan here today. So originally the game plan was for us to all go out and then come back up and meet the cabin at night and then decide on what we're going to do tomorrow, which is pretty much going to entail everyone spiking out because we're just going to have to get kind of away from the main camp to find where the Ibex are apparently. But uh, you and I get the privilege of horsebacking 20 kilometers, which in Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan or Tajikistan means 40 kilometers to some hole in the wall and then uh, I guess we spike out from there. So, but a good start this morning, we've already seen one Ibex on the ridge line over here. I estimated about 70 inches <laughs> and uh, that's if you add both horns together by the way. And then <laughs> we saw a group of them earlier this morning but crisp morning, wind's probably going to be a factor. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Ready for this? Oh. 
Man. This is uh, this is going to be super uncomfortable for 20k. And look, look at the saddle slipping over. Can I slap your horse in the ass this time? Uh, preferably not on this one. Where are they putting our kuyu bag? Right there. Oh good. Great. Okay. What? Ibex. Uh, Where's Ibex? How do you say Ibex? Echki. Teke. 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 Okay. Ibex. Teke. Teke. Kyrgyzstan. Teke. Teke. All right. Ah. Yarka. Mamka. Mamka. Echki. 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 Ibex. Mama. Oh. Echki. 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 Teke. Echki. Teke. Ibex. Uh, mama, mama, Echki. Yeah. There's Ibex everywhere on the slope. Just maybe a thousand yards away, twelve hundred yards away. So I'm gonna get the spotting scope set up and take a look at it. Sawyer's freezing to death. Sleeping tomorrow? Okay. Go. Okay. okay. Hey, one minute. This yeah. I'll show you our camping arrangement. I'll take you into the casa here. Say, uh, just enough to maybe sleep three to four. Pretty cool, though, those old carvings everywhere. This is what it looks like in here, in this cave. And I mean, I've got like my balaclava face mask on because I know it's gonna be really cold tonight. And places like this, your mind wanders like you can't imagine. And right now I'm wishing I had a big old steak bought from the grocery store, grilled with a big baked potato eat it and then lay down on the couch and rub my belly. <sighs> Man, we just had to beg our two guides to put hot water <laughs> in our Mountain Ops bags. And I don't think it's happened yet. And I'm not sure we're gonna get that. But here's the cave. There's Sawyer over there. We did split a Snickers. That's the only thing we've ate today. Yeah. We split a Snickers bar. I, I told whole one each. I told Sawyer a while ago. He said that I cuddled with him last night. I told him I have no problem with him throwing a leg over on me. <laughs> it's freaking <laughs> cold in here. It's so cold. That's a good way to wreck a shoelace. I'm screwed. Holy crap. There's any way I might get this on. Probably not. I mean, like the first time I put that needle in there. And this is the bad finger. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. What the crap? I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> <sighs> no. Is it on? No. <laughs> I can't fit my pants. My hands are frozen. But here we go. Same group as we saw 
just over this ranch here, which I thought that the last 10. So hopefully these Ibex are just, just over this ranch. Or they're not. And there's another ranch there over. It's a serious communication gap. But I think this time we're all on the same page. I mean, anytime you go on these international hunts, especially goat hunts, there's just something special about them. This is, this is awesome. Thanks to everyone involved. Uh, thanks for WTA for recommending this hunt. The Shikar Safaris, as always. And, uh, but most importantly, my family to sacrifice the time for me being away from home. That's, that's a huge sacrifice for them. And this is, uh, this is, this is quite an experience.